So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the drunken granny crochet stitch. Now I have made this entire baby blanket out of the drunken granny stitch. In the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to do the stitch. And then afterwards, towards the end of the video, I'm going to talk to you more about this blanket, um, how to sew in your ends, how to put a border on it and all that good stuff. Okay. But first let's get the stitching out of the way. Okay. So as you can see, my background here is a little bit different. Usually it's this wooden type background, but that's a little light and I'm using a light colored yarn. So I just put down this old green towel here to kind of give you better contrast, okay? So that's why my background is different. So I'm using a worsted weight yarn. This is just Red Heart Super Saver and I'm using a five millimeter hook. You can use any kind of yarn you want. Just make sure that you read on the label and make sure to use a corresponding size of hook. So first off, you wanna get your yarn on your hook. If you're not familiar with some of these terms, you may wanna go back and watch some of my old videos. <laughs> I mean, old videos for beginners where I go much more slowly than I'm gonna go here. Those are directed just towards beginners, okay? So to start off, what you wanna do is chain in multiples of five. Now for that blanket over there, I chained, uh, what was it, 140, okay? And we'll go into that later with the dimensions and everything. I'm just making a swatch right now. So let's chain in multiples of five and you can make this any size that you want. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? Let's do another one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now that you've chained five, you want to hold on to this last stitch here. You see that? Just go ahead and put your finger right there. If you have like a yarn needle and want to, stick that needle right in there and hang on to it, okay? but I'm just gonna be holding it with my finger. So now that you have your multiples of five, we're gonna start making our double crochets. So chain three, one, two, three. And that stitch that you just held here, you're gonna make a double crochet into that stitch. So right there, double crochet, see? That chain three is your first double crochet and now you just made another one. So now you're gonna double crochet three more times into that same exact stitch. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, so there's your initial chain three and your little cluster here of four double crochet. Now what we're gonna do is chain three, one, two, three, and then make one more double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, we're going into that same stitch, just like that, okay? There's our little cluster and then a loop. And it's gonna start curving down like this until you really get started. Don't worry about that, okay? It's fine. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna skip four stitches, well, four chains rather. So there is one, two, three, four, skip those and make a double crochet into that fifth one. You wanna make four total into that same stitch. So there's two, whoops, a doodle. I needed to pull more yarn. <laughs> it got tightened up. So there is two. And this is always the hardest part, just trying to work into this chain. Okay, there is four double crochets right there. Chain three, one, two, three, and one more double crochet. And that's basically all you do all the way across. Now I don't have a big long chain here, so just bear with me and I'll show you what to do when we get to the end. See how this is looking? So skip four, one, two, three, four. 
double crochet into that fifth one. Do four, one, two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, three. Double crochet into the same stitch. Let's get some more yarn. Skip four, one, two, three, four, into that fifth stitch. We're gonna do four double crochet. Two, I'm trying to go slowly here. Three, and four, chain three, and one double crochet into the same stitch. I need more yarn. It's tightening up. Stop tightening up. Okay, so now you see that you have four stitches left, three or four stitches left, depending on if you want to do the correct stitch up here. But what you're gonna do in this very last stitch, make one double crochet. So this is what it looks like so far. Now, once you get to the end, chain three. One, two, three. That does count as your first double crochet and flip it over. Now, what you're gonna be doing is working into these big loops. It's really hard to make a mistake with this pattern, this stitch, whatever you wanna call it, because you're always gonna be working into these big loops. So you have this loop down here you see your little cluster and then this big loop right beside of it? You're going to work into that big loop there doing the exact same thing that you've been doing. We're going to make four double crochet. Whoopsie. We're going to drop our yarn first. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, three, and then another double crochet into the same stitch. Well, into the same loop, whatever you want to call it. Let's do the same thing over here. Four double crochet, one, two, three, and four. Chain three, and one double crochet. The next loop, four double crochet. That's one, two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, three, and another double crochet. All right, so we're gonna do another one here because we're getting towards the end. Your last big loop right here, same thing. Four double crochet. That's two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, three, and another double crochet. Now we're at the end and you see this cluster here and this is your initial chain three. You want to do a double crochet into the top of this chain three. So just go ahead and loop around, find that top stitch of that chain three and do a double crochet. And that is going to start your side over here. And this is what this looks like. Once you start getting a few rows on here, your sides are going to straighten up. Okay. They're not going to be looking all crazy and wonky. Just remember, when you make your initial chain down here, don't make it too tight because then it'll draw it in like that. And that is basically the whole pattern. Really, really easy. So now let's make one more row and then I'll show you how to change colors, okay? So we just made our double crochet here. It's lightning outside. <laughs> so we're going to do a chain three, one, two, three, and flip it around. All of these loops is what we're working into. Four double crochet. 
There's one, two, three, and four. Chain three, one, two, three. Another double crochet into that same space. This is really simple once you, once you, you know, really get going. Next space, four double crochet. That's two, three, and four. Chain three, and another double crochet into the space. In that next space, four double crochet. Three and four. Whoopsie. You see how I kind of, I went straight through my yarn. <laughs> Chain three and then double crochet into that same space. Next space here, do the same thing. Four double crochet, chain three, and one double crochet. I know I get some comments sometimes, you go too fast. Well, you know, that's why I always say to check out my videos for beginners, because in those is where I go really, really slow, okay? And, you know, in every video, I don't want to go so incredibly slow that I lose people's attention. So that's why with some of these, I try to speed it up just a little bit more. All right, so we are pretty much back at the end here, and I'm going to get my white yarn. So to change color, you can do it however you want to do it, but this is the way I do it. And like I always say, I get a lot of negative comments. I'm like, you know, I got a wall of blue ribbons over here, so I, I kind of know something. But anyway, when I change colors, as you can see, here's our four double crochets, and here's that little chain three over here. Go ahead as if you're going to make a double crochet into that top chain three. You're going to pull it through, loop over, only pull it through two. Grab your yarn, loop over, and then pull it through those two. Now what I do is I'm going to flip it over, cut that yellow yarn, and I like to make a square knot Gently, gently. <laughs> I always like to secure my yarn with a knot. Okay, so now you have your other color attached and you can start again. Chain three and flip it over. I'm going to do a row of white and then I will jump over here and we'll start talking about this blanket. Okay, so into that space, four double crochet two, three, four. Chain three, one double crochet. Next big space. Make sure that you're standing on this top row here. Don't accidentally dip down and go under there. Four double crochet. That's two, three, and four, chain three, and one more double crochet into that space. Next space, four double crochet. Whoopsie. This yarn is, it feels slippery to me. Two, three, four, chain three, and then one. Pretty, pretty darn simple. All right, next one, four double crochet. I know I've probably drugged this out a little bit longer than what I needed to, but I wanna make sure that I'm thorough. <laughs> Chain three, and then do one more double crochet into that space. Now we're at the end of the row. Make your double crochet into the top of that chain three there. And there's that. Ooh, lemon meringue pie. <laughs> All right, so um, let me get my blanket back over here and I need to measure the width. Um, I did, but you know what? 
I forgot what it was. So let me go measure it and I'll come right back. Okie dokie. Let us talk about this baby blanket here. Look, my camera looks like it's falling a little bit. All right, let's talk about this blanket. So my starting chain was 140 and that made the blanket 46 inches wide. It does not have a border on it yet. I'm going to sit down and put a border on it here in a little bit. Um, but 46 inches wide without a border. The colors that I used, I just picked up random skeins of whatever colors I had laying around. I had this green, yellow, purple, and pink. All of this is Red Heart Super Saver. The white Red Heart Super Saver. So with the blanket being 46 inches wide, and mine is not a perfect square. It's a lot longer than 46 inches. I think it's more like around 52 inches long because I wanted to get in, you know, a whole other color repeat to make it kind of balance itself out. I used a whole skein pretty much of each color, um, you know, three quarters of a skein because I know they weren't full skeins. I'm sorry that I can't give you more information than that, but you know, this is a good scrap buster and that's basically what I was using it for, okay? So, you know, if, you, if you're going to do different colors, just get a skein of each color and, and you know, go for it. Um, I did four rows of the color and then two of white, four of a color and two of white. So let's get that out of the way. Now for a border with our massive, massive blanket here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in again. Um, I just kind of snipped off the ends here because I don't care. This is just a sample. But what I did here is I'm gonna show you how I like to work in my ends. And I've showed this in other videos as well. I don't like to crochet over my ends because that does not make them very secure at all. So what I like to do is go ahead and, and put your yarn in your needle. And then I'm going to come up through this chain here just so that I can get over here to these, okay? Let it go. Okay. Now, I don't like to go completely under the stitches like that because it's so easy to pull it right back out. I like to go, you can see right there, I actually go through the center of that yarn. You see that? I'm actually through the center of that yarn. I'm going actually through the stitch and not under it. And that can be a little bit difficult to pull through, but it's so secure. All right, so this is the last one I went through. I like to go over that one and weave it back in through the stitches going in the opposite direction. Especially on baby blankets, you want your ends to be secure. And now a third time, this is where I came out for a third time. Just go back and work it through some of these stitches here. And then it's done. Go ahead and cut off your yarn right there. Very, very secure. So let's get the yarn needle out of the way. And now let's talk about a border. So now that we're to the end here, what we're going to do is go ahead and chain three. Like you're getting ready to make another, another round, another row, whatever chain three and then we're going to turn now we're going to begin the border or to put a flat edge on the top rather so into this first space you want to make a single crochet chain two and now into this second double crochet make a single crochet get more yarn <laughs> chain one, single crochet into the space, chain two, single crochet into that second double crochet, chain one, into the space, chain two, into the second double crochet, chain one, into the space, whoopsie doodle, into the space, chain two, into that second one, chain one, and now this double crochet, well the chain three rather, over here, just single crochet into that, and now you're at the end. Just make sure that when you're making your stitches here, they're not really, really tight, okay? So it'll lay nice and flat. Now we're going to come down the side. 
So you just made a single crochet, make two more into that same stitch. When you're using a single crochet border and you're rounding a corner, you always wanna put three single crochets into that little space right there. Now you see these big old spaces here? You're gonna put two single crochets into each one. There's two there. And do this kind of loosely. Two there. Two there. Just two in each space. Whoopsie. And two there. And that would be coming down the side. So sorry. Like I said, it's lightning outside and uh, the power just went out. But um, now that we've got down to the side here, you can see this big, huge loop here. Now we just made one single crochet into it. So let's do two more so that we can round that curve. All right, now you can see we got some big loops down here. We have these here and then these here. And each one of these, you're gonna do two single crochet. And then in the big ones, we're gonna do three. So let's do one, two, three, and then do two there. One, two, and three, two there. Basically what you're doing, and you can, you can eyeball this, okay? Basically, you're just trying to evenly space, <laughs> you know, single crochets down the side and then across the bottom. That's all you're trying to do. You know, don't, don't worry about stitch counts at this point. You're just trying to make it even, okay? If it starts to ruffle, you're putting too many. If it starts to like sink in, you're not putting enough. So, you know, basically what you just want to do, do a few stitches, lay it down, see if it lays flat, okay? That can be tricky with a lot of borders. All right, so we're at this chain part here. We're going to do three, two, three. And in this one, we're going to do two. Over here, we're going to do three. I think a lot of times with easy things like this, People can get, you know, too caught up in the exact stitch counts, and that can drive you crazy. You know, don't worry about being exact with that. You just want it to lay flat, basically. All right, so now we're at the end, and there is this little cluster here, and this is a chain three. So what you want to do, what do you do when you round a corner and single crochet? You want to put three single crochet into that stitch there, two and three, and then we have rounded the corner. All right, so same thing over here that we did over here. So I'm just gonna put some in. One and two, I did put two over there, yeah. All right, so now we're back up here to where we switched our color. So we're going to put Two more single crochet there. Remember, just every now and again, lay it down. It's laying flat, so that looks good. And now we are back up here to where we started. You can just join with a slip stitch and then cut it off. Pull your yarn out and there you go. Now, you know, if you were making a blanket, you would do this on your blanket. And then you can make as many rows of single crochet as you want. If that's what you want, you know, for your border, or you can do, you know, like little clusters, you know, if you want to do that. So any kind of border that you want to put on this is what you can do. But that's basically the stitch. It's really, really simple. So I hope that you enjoy this. I know this video is a little bit longer, but I try to be thorough. <laughs> it's a little, a little bit longer than my uh, Dollar Tree crafting videos. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!